Birkenau, which was an overflow camp from Auschwitz, was a death camp where you came off the transport trains and you basically went right into the gas chambers. But if you were a woman, and if you had an instrument, or if you knew music, they pulled you out of the line, and instead of going to the death camp, they put you into an orchestra. They were forced by the SS to play, and it was a horrible experience for them to have to play for their captors, but it kept them alive, and that every woman survived who was in this orchestra. 54 women over an 18-month period played in this orchestra um, using whatever instruments they had, um, accordion, mandolin, uh, violin, whatever. And Barbara Pickard, the conductor, took those instruments and found out what music they played and created a piece where they had the chorus singing, they had the orchestra playing the music of the Birkenau Orchestra, and they had women reading the memoirs from the women in the Birkenau Orchestra. We feel like we are not just acknowledging, but remembering and respecting those who gave their lives, those who died during the horrors of the Holocaust. They played standard um, classical repertoire. They also played folk songs. They also played marches. They, they didn't just play classical music, but it was their classical repertoire that they worked the hardest on. Um, and they gave concerts. They gave concerts for the SS. These were very conflicting times for the people in this orchestra because um, they didn't want to do that. And yet they knew that they had to, if they wanted to survive, they had to do this. We have been telling a lot of people about it and basically I tell them that there was a group of women who survived the camps by playing for the Germans and sometimes playing for the workers as they went out to work. Um, and this is a recreation of that experience. They all, they all say, wow, <laughs> is that hard to do? And um, it, it has been hard to do. Um, and then wearing the scarves, it's very hard to explain, but it really transformed things. It makes me think of, you know, what, what would it be like for me to be in that kind of a situation um, and to be able to use the music to get through hard times, which I think all musicians do. It had to have been very, very difficult for them in so many ways. You get so lost in your music that you almost forget sometimes where you are and I think my I just can imagine but I imagine that that's probably the only way that they could do it